Hello friends, today we are going to talk about some higher order derivative of position, for example third order derivative, fourth order derivative, fifth and sixth order derivative. In mechanics, this higher order derivative does exist, but we don't necessarily teach them in our dynamics course or not widely use those but they does exist and they do have names for example jerk snap crackle pop and so so what are these and um how, how do we define those so let's see what is our um objective for today so the learning objective for today is that we're going to define what is jerk in mechanics and then we're going to talk about how can we calculate jerk in graphical way and also using formulas the same way we learn for velocity and acceleration and then we're going to do the similar thing for the higher orders those are a snap crackle and pop so um, let's start so let's first take a step back I know you already know what is position velocity and acceleration but we need some um, review of this so that we can um, jump start on those higher orders so you already know what is position if you have an origin and then your current position is the distance from the origin to your current uh, position. Now velocity we define as the first order derivative of position with respect to time. Now an acceleration we said it is the change of velocity with respect to time so it's the second order derivative of position and that's about what we limit ourselves in dynamics uh, engineering dynamics courses which is 2000 level courses uh, but in reality in mechanics there's there exists some higher order derivatives but uh, before we go there let's review the graphical uh, approach of this which is if we look at if I have a constant acceleration from zero to a constant acceleration maybe 10 meter per second square at that time you will have since it's constant acceleration you will have linear velocity and you will have parabolic position change now if once you stop having acceleration or zero acceleration then your velocity is constant and your position will be changing linearly finally when you decelerate to zero then your velocity will decrease linearly and your position will be changing parabolically so this is the way um, the position velocity and acceleration is defined in graphical um, scenario so now let's also allow me to discuss about one um, kinematic equation that is derived from the definition of velocity and acceleration and I know if you remember that is ADS equals to VDV this equation is also widely used when your acceleration is a function of uh, position S instead of a uh, time um, so you can use this equation to find velocity now how did we get this equation if you switch this so if you take dt on this side v on here so it will be dt equals to ds over v and plug that value here you will get this format so now we have had the concept of graphical and equation concept of velocity acceleration that we're going to use for our um, higher order um, analysis so what is jerk so in jerk um, to explain jerk if you see in previous slides or in dynamics we assume that acceleration 
was zero and suddenly there was a constant acceleration applied how whatever 10 meter per second e square for example again when you have um, from a certain acceleration you said well now I have zero acceleration again you have a negative or deceleration in real life actually that doesn't exist you cannot jump from zero to a 10 meter per second square in an instant even if it's a very short period of time you take there is some change in acceleration that happens maybe for very small amount of time there will be a change in acceleration if there is then the curve would look like this maybe within a short period of time your acceleration is changing to reach that constant acceleration we just talked about so these changes here here are the change in acceleration so if there is a change in acceleration you can have a change in acceleration with respect to time and that is what your jerk is one example for example you're driving you are on a signal right red signal your your car is stop position and as soon as the light turns green you put acceleration you put acceleration 10 again meter per second square if you feel that you don't you don't necessarily go to that acceleration instantly you will feel that uh, push right and that's the jerk that you're actually um, feeling so um, the jerk so the curve would be if we assume um, in detail so you will have a change in acceleration this would be the actual one and the definition of jerk would be change in acceleration with respect to time which would be the third order derivative of position with respect to time so now see how can we um, calculate jerk so by definition jerk is dA over dt so and if we take our uh, definition of acceleration the same way we derive the formula for from velocity and acceleration equation a definition same way we're going to take the definition of jerk and acceleration and if we take dt on this side and a on this side so dv over a so plug it here replace dt and you'll get this form and if you just um, simplify you'll get j d v equals to a d a and if you take the d v on the other side you will get j equals to a d a over d v so if you have a plot that has a slope like this you can get um, jerk so graphically if we want to calculate the jerk graphically and if we know acceleration with respect to time your a t curve and if you know your VT curve, change of velocity with respect to time, and from there you can plot your velocity and respective acceleration in a curve, it's just an example curve. Now your slope would be dA over dV. So if you know from it, if you have that curve, if you know your slope, then at that point where you are taking your slope, you will have the y segment is a so if you plug it here you will you will be able to calculate jerk so this is the graphical way um, as we also had um, constant acceleration equation you know kinematic equation equations v equals to u plus a t v square equals to u square plus twice a s that is for constant acceleration we can also derive same equations for jerk so if we assume that your jerk is constant then again you will have this definition j equals to dA over dt and if you take dt on the other side and do integration so you will have change in dA so a is your acceleration equals to initial acceleration plus jt same as v equals to u plus at right again if you go back to your acceleration uh, definition a equals to dv over dt and then um, take dt on the other side and make an integration and for a plug the value a naught plus jt and then if, if you do the integration you will get d v del v which is the change in velocity equals to initial acceleration time a naught t 
plus half j t square. Similarly, from previous slide we had the equation j d v a d a. Again, if you do integration of this, you will get this equation a square plus n r square, so plus twice j del v. So these are the equation which is similar to the position and acceleration equation, normal kinetic equations that we already know. And the interesting thing is that if you plug the j equals to zero on all this equation, it will turn back itself to the original or the equation that we are used to know. Um, so uh, let's move forward. So this is a comparison plot just to give a better idea of jerk acceleration velocity. So this uh, pink line is the jerk. So if we again assume, for example, your jerk, you apply a jerk which is constant from zero, suddenly constant. And so during that time, and your, if it's a constant jerk, your acceleration would be changing linearly. And if your acceleration is changing linearly, your velocity will be cha changing in parabolic way. Once you, there is no jerk, then your acceleration would be changing constantly. Oh, your acceleration would be changing constantly. Uh, so your acceleration will be fixed, actually. Uh, and then your velocity will be changing linearly. So acceleration will be constant and velocity will be linear. Finally, when you have negative jerk, so you are decelerating, so your acceleration is changing linearly and your velocity will be changing parabolically. So this is just a, a plot um, of jerk, acceleration and velocity on top of each other. So what are snap, crackle and pop in mechanics. So again, let's go back to the slide. Here you see we assume that jerk was applied from zero to a certain height. So it's kind of a loop. If we again assume that it never happens, if you consider yourself again in driving, you were feeling a jerk when you were, uh, you were experiencing a jerk when you were um, from zero, you were putting a acceleration same way there would be also a change in jerk it's a loop if there's a change in jerk and there will be a change in higher order and then there will be a change in higher order so if there is a change in jerk we call it snap sometimes it is also called jounce um, so what is what it is is that jounce or snap is the change in um, your um, jerk over time which is the fourth order derivative of your position now similarly if we have a change in snap it's like a loop then it's called crackle which is also a change in snap with respect to time which would be fifth order derivative of your position similarly we'll have if we have a change in crackle that will be pop which is the change in crackle with respect to time, which would be sixth order derivative of time, right? So normally we don't use these three, uh, and also we don't teach uh, those, but these really exist in mechanics. They also have a name assigned, and above six, seven, eight, this you can go on, but that those doesn't have a name yet. But did you? Um, wonder how, how the name came from snap, crackle, and pop? Yes, you're right. Those are the mascot of Kellogg Rice Cereal, snap, crackle, pop, and those names were taken from there. So, um, so that was it for the um, higher order uh, derivative of positions. If you want to, uh, if you were interested to know a little more about this, um, there's a nice paper uh, which is called Beyond Velocity and Acceleration, Jerk, Snap, and Higher Derivatives. This is an open access journal article. You can download it for free. And also, for some derivation, you can also go to this link. Um, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you have any question, um, let me know. And we'll see you in next uh, another video. Till then, thank you.